In this video, I'm going to show you how you can make a new worksheet for all the weeks of the year in Excel. I did this for somebody this week and they do payroll every second week, but they need to keep track of the hours um, for each week. And so I'm, I'm on my developer tab. I've gone to macros here or the, the start date that they want to start with is January 2nd, 2023. Now you can put any start date in here and it'll work happily from there. So we're going to macros uh, every week and we're going to run. Now I have um, just put in 10 here just because I didn't want to waste anybody's time. And so, uh, so January for, this, uh, their first date was sheet uh, one here, and that was week two. So January 9th is week one and so on. And this, it works perfectly, um, goes as long as you want. So let me show you the script. I will, of course, include the, the code in the description of the video. So um, it's called every week and next day is date, end date is date, uh, count as long, week number is long and days as integer. So start date is the date, and that's the date that you've got on your sheet one here. Okay, so then it's saying um, that uh, it's telling you what the number format is. Uh, start date equals worksheet value, range A1 value, and then it's auto-fitting just because um, sometimes dates don't fit in the standard column. And so then what we're doing is calculating next date, and it's start date plus days. Now days I've got equal to seven. You could change this to three, you could change this to 14, whatever you want. And then, and so I've only done it for 10. Like I said, I don't wanna waste your time. So if I, you could put 52, 104, it doesn't make any difference. And so then we're going sheets add after sheets count. So when it, after the last sheet, you put another sheet in and the active cell A1 ring number format is that we want it in just days and months, uh, two letters for the days and three letters for the months. An active range value equals next date. And so it's putting the date in the top of the cells, cells entire uh, column auto fit, active sheet name equals next date, which is, and they want it in the format of days and months. And then they want the week number there. So whether it's the first week or the second week, and how I've calculated the week number. If the week number equals one, then the next week number equals two, else equals week number one. Um, and then and I'm ending the if here and next date equals next date plus days. So whatever the whatever the date is, we're, we're adding that many days to it and we're going count. And so this is your count that's and your loop. So this is in the, is how your, your script is running. I will, of course, include the code in the description of my video. Please subscribe.